Understanding causes of death worldwide illustrates the health challenges facing specific regions. But how can we place a country's results in the context of its level of development? Scientists have been trying to move away from labeling countries as developed or developing, and World Bank categories give a picture of development limited to income. New results from the 2015 Global Burden of Disease study categorize regions according to the Socio-Demographic Index, or SDI, a new index combining three predictive indicators of health outcomes, average income, education, and fertility rates. This study examines SDI and life expectancy, both of which increased from 1980 to 2015 for every region. While in some regions life expectancy closely relates to SDI, other regions are further away. In Sub-Saharan Africa, the dip in life expectancy is mostly due to HIV. For Central Europe, the cause is alcohol-related deaths. And North Africa has better life expectancy than that predicted by SDI. While there are disease-related deaths we can predict, there are also deaths due to war and natural disaster that we cannot. Mortality shocks show spikes in deaths here due to genocide, drought, and earthquakes. Causes of death vary by SDI. At a low SDI, we see more infectious diseases and maternal mortality. As SDI increases, there is an increase of non-communicable diseases, such as heart disease and cancer. This graph shows age-standardized rates, the traditional way to view this data. But with development, there's not just a change in cause of death, but also in age profile of the population. Combining these two factors, we see the actual situation faced by clinicians and policymakers across the globe in the 21st century and beyond.